See this thing over here? Now that's the main chip. This thing will control the entire system. It works with a lot of sensors. You got a distance sensor over here. It works kind of like a bat. It sends out an echo, picks it back up, and it knows how far you're away from it. Right over there, that tiny, tiny black piece, that's a temperature sensor. It just measures the temperature around it on the air. It's not that difficult. You got a few buttons. That's the spray button. These two control the menu. Right now they don't do anything because it got no power. This over here is a special button. It works with a magnet. Take the magnet away, it's a broken circuit, put the magnet back, it's a fixed circuit. It also got a few actuators. This here is an LCD screen, it just displays the menu, it's not that difficult. This here, it's an RGB light, it contains three different lights, a red one, a green one and a blue one. It gives them different amounts of power and it shows different kinds of light. This here is the main air freshener, we hooked it up to the system through, an, through a few more wires. It has a broken circuit, so the battery isn't actually connected and we can fix it with our system. Once we fix the system, it can just work normally and it gives off a spray. Alright, let's talk software. Right here we've got the libraries that we've included. We've got the one wire protocol with, and the Dallas temperature which handle the temperature sensor. Then we got the new ping library which handles the distance sensor. The liquid crystal library handles the LCD screen and the APROM library handles the APROM memory. Alright, down here we've got a giant list of variables which are initialized before the program starts. Then we go to the setup. In the setup we read from the April memory and we initialize all interrupts and pin modes. Then in the main loop we first check if an interrupt has been called and then we handle those accordingly. Then we go to the main switch case which switches on the current state. Every state has a function, and every function does whatever needs to be done in that state, such as switching to another state when a sensor senses something. That's pretty much our program. Here's how to install the system. First, you gotta find a flat surface that's somewhere behind your toilet, or at least close by and facing somewhere from the back at you, so when you're sitting on the toilet it knows you're sitting here close to the toilet because it looks at how close you are. So, you got a flat surface, on there you just put the board and the thing we all just showed you before, you just have to place it down. got to place your air freshener somewhere in range, so we just also put it on there. For the magnet strip, this takes some mounting. The magnet strip here, we attached it to the wall, and the other part is on the cleaning supplies. So whenever you take the cleaning supplies, you take away the magnet, and when you put it back, you just make sure you put it against the magnet again, and it's done. Now you only got to find some power supply nearby, but... We didn't have one, but we fixed it by just bringing a mobile power supply. Alright, now that the system is turned on, we're going to look at its functionality. Right here we've got an RGB light with it green right now. Green means that there is no use of the toilet at the moment. We've got an LCD screen which dis displays the temperature. And we've got a few buttons which control the menu. Right here we can activate the menu, uh, which shows a white light. Uh, we can reset the amount of sprays that... Um, the system still has and we can change the delay so right now it's 20 we can change to 19 and back to 20 we're gonna, just going to keep it at 20 right now right here we've got the spray button this uh, just um, makes the system spray once we're going to just press that button and you see it's, it's gonna, going red and we're going to look at um, the spraying All right, and there was the spray. It sprayed once. Now, five seconds later, the system will go back to the no-use state. All right, first we've got if you just walk in front of the toilet and don't want to go to the toilet. It, uh, it will detect something in front of it, and if it goes away within 10 seconds, then it goes to green again. If we are talking about using the toilet, I'm just going to sit here and pretend like I'm doing a number one. If I sit here more than 10 seconds, the system will think that I am doing a number one. So we're just going to wait a few seconds. And I'm going to go away. The system uh, just went to red, which means that it is going to spray a second time now. Just going to wait for that. And there we go, the system sprayed again. Now we're just going to look, take a look at the menu again. As you see, the spray time is now at, uh, the spray time is now at 2,498, which is two less than it was before. All right, now we're going to simulate a number two. I'm just going to sit in the toilet, and we assume that when you are doing a number two, you are on there for at least two minutes. So we're just going to wait two minutes now for the system to recognize that I am actually doing a number two. 
And we're back. This should have been about two minutes, so in a few seconds the light should change its color to indicate that it knows that we went poopy. And uh, see, there, the light just went a bit darker, and now if we move away from it, it should register this, and after another waiting time it should spray twice instead of just once. Let's spray one. And as you see, there's the second spray, and now that the second spray has been done, after about five seconds, it should oh, go back to the main menu. Alright, and now we're gonna simulate cleaning the toilet. We're gonna take the cleaning supplies and it turns to blue. We're gonna move in front of the toilet to clean it. And then we're gonna put the cleaning supplies back. And when we move away from the toilet, it goes back to green again. Simple as that. One, two, three, boom, bam. Boom goes the dynamite. Well then, here are some afterthoughts and reflections on the system. Uh, Midas, would you like to go first? Well, uh, you know, I think it's a good system, but you know, if you take a long time peeing or just very, are very quick in taking a dump, it doesn't really work, but we're assuming that, you know, normal people you will use this system. But, uh, you've got something to say about it? Yeah, there's maybe one other problem. The fact that it requires this flat surface, it could be a problem. I mean, so far the toilets we all had had a surface there, so... It's not that big of a problem, but if you don't, yeah, you can work around it. You can put it under the toilet and aim it at your feet, or put it somewhere else and just pretend like it works properly. Yeah. It's fine. But for the rest, uh, it's a great system. 10 out of 10. I would toilet again. <laughs>